From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. And away we go on this Four Star Stimulus Check Update of 2021 this afternoon, Friday. As we get ready for Monday, the vote starts on the Four Stimulus Check Update of 2021 starting Monday. The reconciliation voting starts, the president has called for. And Jalapal is speaking out. The incredible news delivered in this fourth stimulus check updated 2021 starting today. We'll be going over the monthly stimulus check the Democrats want you to have and the breaking news happening this Friday afternoon. Then we go to fifth stimulus that has a sea of breaking news, including the Fed head out of St. Louis speaking about your inflation rate. It's all great news as fifth stimulus raises up your benefits a lifetime with a new inflation benchmark and gives you a fifth stimulus check. Then we turn to the thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get. It's your big day. It's your big weekend to get that money as well. What a big afternoon's broadcast we're going to have. The toast was toasting, but now the popcorn is popping. <laughs> the beach is surfing, and we're ready to get going into the weekend. But first, this fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus update on Afternoons LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? You made it to the, the weekend. Congratulations. That is an achievement unto itself. <laughs> you have made it to the weekend. Hope the weather is good where you are. And boy, it finally cooled down here in Southern California. It was horrible on Thursday. I told you if you hit the like button, the heat wave goes away. And it worked. <laughs> so if you're having bad weather where you are, hit the like button right now. It apparently works. <laughs> if you're watching live, jump into the chat right now and tell me where you're tuning in from. And how's the weather? Also, tell me what you're doing for the weekend. I'd love to see your comments. Well, in this Force Stimulus Check update of 2021, we have a lot of breaking news. The voting starts next week for the reconciliation process. The president speaks out about that voting process. Also, Jalapal speaking out, saying time to get this done. And you, you'll hear details about why next week is so exciting for the first time on this afternoon's broadcast. Then we turn to Fifth Stimulus as the head of the Federal Reserve out of St. Louis speaks out and his comments are slightly different than Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve on Wednesday. All credible news as your Fifth Stimulus is tied to not just a stimulus check, but a raise of your benefits, and that's also linked to inflation. I have all the breaking news about that as well. Then we turn to the thousands of dollars you can get right now and viewers continue to get it. It's your big day. This is Aloe Light, your only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. I'm excited you have now found me, and welcome to this incredible family. We're next back with you with Evenings Aloe Light right after this show. Stay with this recording. It'll take you automatically to that. And then Overnight's Crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Fastest growing channel there is. Hit that subscribe button right now and once you're part of this family. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and it helps get rid of bad weather. <laughs> and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that fourth stimulus with the first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check updated 2021, starting right now. The House bill, Senate proposal, slightly different, both monthly stimulus checks, but the number of checks and the time of the checks is slightly different. Let's start with one at a time. House bill. House bill is monthly stimulus check. Pandemic plus one year. Author, Jalapal. Senate proposal, stimulus check July to December. Hmm, interesting. Let's compare the monthly payouts. House bill, $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000. Senate proposal, monthly amount unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh, wow. Now, that's wonderful. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 from those Democratic senators. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 from those Democratic senators. Now, let's go back to that House bill because there is an issue at flux, and it's the pandemic provision. Pandemic plus one year? Well, some legislators may contend the pandemic is over. That would reduce you to just one year of stimulus checks 12 months, which would be $13,000 under the House bill. 
If you're on the line chat, get ready to vote House or Senate, which one you like, House or Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from. Do you like this one, $13,000 over 12 months, House bill, or this one, Senator's six months and this potential amount. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Tell me which one you like. House or Senate, vote right now in the live chat. House or Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. So who gets this fourth stimulus check? The Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. So if you're a single individual and who makes less than $75,000, you get the fourth stimulus check from those Democrats. Married couple, $150,000 or less, the Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Household four or less, the Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, the Democrats would give you a stimulus check. Congratulations. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. There you go. The fourth stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. Good there. And the fourth stimulus check would come monthly. Come monthly. It's not a check that would come in waves because it's not a waveable check. So if you see the check walking down the street, do not try to wave at the check. It will not wave back at you, and you will think it's a rude check. Hi, check. How are you? Ready for the weekend? What a rude check you are. <laughs> it's not a waveable check. You can't wave back. It's not rude, just not waveable. <laughs> <laughs> the Democrats would uh, give you that non waivable check starting in the month of July. They're calling the vote no later than July 4th. That means you would get the first check for the month of July in the month of July, and then in the month of August for the month of August. And there you go. That is your first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in this recording. In the second part, we're going to be going over what's happening on Monday as the voting process starts. I have the breaking news from the present and the new comments from Jollop and her progressives talking about why they have the president's back and he has their back for getting their progressive policies done in for stimulus. It's wonderful news. And then the third part of this video, we'll be going over the nine steps you should anticipate for next week and understanding how to get from point A to point C in this entire voting process. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus. And fifth stimulus involves raising up your benefits if you are on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Railroad benefits, and giving you another round of stimulus checks. But I'm going to explain how the federal chairs out of St. Louis's comments this morning, Boulard, surprised a lot of people. But it's great news for you if you're on benefits. But now let's get some big moolah. If you're new to this channel, that's what I do. I give people money. This is not the Stimulus Psychic Network. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't even have a ball. I don't have crystal. I don't, well, I have crystal. Viewers, I have named crystals. Named, uh, viewers who are named crystals watch the show, but I don't have crystals on the set. And so I don't do Stimulus Psychic Network here, nor do I track checks, but I do give people money. And that's what I've been doing day one. So let's get some money for you. There's $350 billion land in your city, counties, and states. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. It's from Third Stimulus. And I want you to get a pen and paper ready. And if it must be Crayola Crown, then it has to be purple. Because <laughs> it has to match the host's color. Uh, but get a pen and paper ready because I'm going to go over a lot of money I'm going to get you in this recording. Say the very end. That's what I do. I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans early in the pandemic save their businesses and their homes and their employees businesses but if all 2020 we didn't see second stimulus passing so i got them a quarter million dollars for rent and utilities well we're doing it again right now so get that pen and paper ready i'm going to go over the different places but first it's important to know that each place has different eligibility so if you reach out to one and they say no don't worry reach out to that x they'll have the money for you okay you got that pen paper ready and that crayola crown that's exactly purple <laughs> Here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, your state housing authority. The key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. Or uh, mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't understand. Uh, like waivable check. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jack. Uh, yeah, you don't say words that they don't understand. Or stimulus. They don't understand that word stimulus. Or um, Mitch's avocado toast. They Their response will probably be say, Sir, um, that's a congressional dining hall down the hall. <laughs> so don't say words they don't know. Well, congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this money. It's your turn to get it as well. But the next pot of money, viewers are killing it. 
And if you've gotten a penny or a hundred thousand pennies, and I've gotten that as well for viewers of this channel, jump in the live chat because inspires me, inspires someone else. This week, someone got the five thousand dollars from this next pot of money. A viewer last week got seven, six to seven thousand dollars for it. Lynn Glenn got it for herself and her son and her mom, and Gail got it. What is it? It's SNAP. SNAP is money for your food from Department of Agriculture. So reach out to Department of Agriculture and get that money. How much money is it? It's a lot. A <laughs> family of four in Hawaii can get upwards of $16,000 a year now because of SNAP. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get that money. It's incredible. Look how we're doing. $15,000, $16,000 for SNAP for family of four in Hawaii. $5,000 for rent. It's about four to six months of rent. You can get about $5,000. We're killing it. You're killing it. And we are only 11 minutes into this video. We're trying to get some more money. And it's $5,000. View, one viewer got $5,000 for this. What is it? The federal government has identified states as owing you back money. States had overpaid you unemployment assistance due to no fault of your own, due to their computer error. <laughs> that darn old computer they got there. And then they asked you to return the money back, which you did. Well, the federal government said, no, that's your money to keep. And has now ordered the states to return the money back to you. Wow. One viewer got $5,000 from this. So how are you going to get it? Direct deposit the account you have on file with that state. When? Reach out to your respective state for routing times. And when you call them up, say, hi, where's that check coming? When is that check coming back to me? And please don't use that old computer that didn't work last time either. <laughs> don't use a computer to work as, you know, Windows 98. That's about as old as someone's hairstyle out of San Francisco. So there you go. <laughs> so now let's turn to that last pot of money. Boy, Con got it, Margaret got it, viewers continue to get it. If you got it as well, jump in the live chat. It is money back from IRS. If you filed your 2020 tax return and paid taxes on the unemployment assistance, congratulations. It's coming back this month. Let's go over how much, when, where, and how to track it. First, how much? If you had $9,000 of total unemployment assistance, for example, and you had a $5,000 total tax bill, but which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment assistance, congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. When or where? Direct deposit if that was on the tax return like Cod did or otherwise in the mail. When is this month? Can you track it? Yes. About 70% of the time. Go into irs.gov, set up a username and password. Go in there and do a transcript search. And 70% of the time it works. It'll show you the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid, and the tax refund you're getting back. Wow, is there anything better great news than there than that? And there is. It's the second of your third part of your fourth stimulus check updated 2021 this Friday afternoon in this extended afternoon's LA broadcast. There's a lot of breaking news, so it's a little extended. Well, here we go. Let's start with the two things you need to know. One, President's called the vote. President said, I'm sick of all this. I'm hearing from both sides. You're calling the vote on the recon next week. So next week, away we go. The recon voting starts. The reconciliation process is already underway. It will be done by July 4th. The nine voting steps of which I'm going to go over later in this video. But now the president's made very clear. They're starting the reconciliation voting this coming Monday. They're currently marking up the bill, we have also learned, and all Democrats are on board, including Joe Manchin, to pass this. Wonderful news. Now, what is the breaking news from Jalapal and the progressives? Well, let me first go over the incredible quotes, and then I'll explain what they mean. First, Jalapal, of course, the Democrat from Washington set, and head of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, said that the White House has not in any way told progressives to not do what we, us progressives, are doing. Wonderful news. Then Senator Brian Schatz, who is a Democrat of Hawaii, said much the same thing. The White House has repeatedly reassured Schatz that the White House considered the progressive priorities let me, I just butchered that. The White House has repeatedly assured him that the White House considers the progressive priorities the White House's own priorities. And the White House has not asked the progressives to back off anyway in any form. Wow. So let me explain what's going on here. Four stimulus, as you know, has infrastructure and roads, but it also has two very clear progressive policies from the White House climate 
and the CARES economy. The CARES economy is not the CARES Act from 2020. It is referring to things like money for seniors. So the president has made very clear he is going to the mat and he will be adamant that those two items, climate and the CARES economy, are passed in for stimulus. Well, guess what the president has done because those are two progressive policies. He's enlisted the progressives to have his back, and they've had his back wonderfully, and that's why he's very excited. For the first time, he's re really aligning himself with the progressives because the two policies he has are progressive policies, and they are the people that are pushing this to the finish line, more so than moderate Democrats that may not be as vocal in support of these two progressive policies from the president. So what is the president doing in a, 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 as sort of a I rub your back, you rub my back situation? He's saying to the progressives, whatever you're doing, in addition to that, you keep on doing what you're doing. This is huge because you know what the third progressive policy is, the monthly stimulus checks. So the president is basically saying, so long as you take care of my two progressive policies, climate and cares economy, you could take care of your other progressive policies as well. Wow. And he's speaking specifically and more so to the progressives than even the moderates. It's wonderful, wonderful news. So how did we get to this wonderful place? <laughs> We got this place to this place when Alita Schumer, the d Friday before Memorial Day weekend, confirmed three things, which I have been reporting on this channel. Number one, that the weekend had already begun. Number two, it's going to be done by July 4th. And number three, the final vote will approve it by July 4th, no later than that. But how did we get to that spot? Jalapal once again. Jalapal had written the Schumer had written Schumer a letter saying, call the vote. But more importantly, the letter from Jalapal was signed by 12 House progressives who had said to the president, Mr. President, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks into the forceless package. He liked it because guess what? They're taking care of his progressive policies. Wow. Now, these 12 House Democrats are among the 100 plus House Democrats and progressives who had written the president a letter a week earlier saying we're putting monthly stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. And he liked it as well. Wow. Now, that's wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. Seven days ago, seven House Democrats wrote the President a letter saying, Mr. President, when we write the four stimulus package, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in that language. <gasps> well, who are these people to say that? What do they do for a living? They're on the House subcommittee that's solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus check legislation in the House of Representatives in the United States Congress. <gasps> Did they write our first stimulus check? They did. Did they write our second stimulus check? They did. Did they write our third stimulus check this year? They did. And now they're marking up the bill and they claim they're putting a fourth stimulus check in there. They claim they are. Wow. Are they doing a fifth stimulus check? They are. And that's coming up later in this video. Oh, my goodness. Can we top that? We can top that. And that came from the president, the incredible news, over last weekend. The president of the United States over last weekend did two great things. First, he said, call the vote. He said the voting process for the reconciliation will start this coming week. But number two, he passed an international agreement that anchors forced stimulus right to the edge of the finish line by no longer having provisions needed in that forced stimulus legislation because they're now in the international agreement. I'll explain that starting right now. It goes back to a recent Tuesday ago where I told you the president had done something wonderful, but it was confusing, complicated, and I needed to slow it down. So I'm slowing it down right now as well. Forced stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. Well, that means that, what does that mean? It means that a corporation in the United States has a, a rate, and that rate is manifested in the laws. Well, the president wants to raise that rate that corporations pay in the United States. Pretty easy to understand. Well, the president at the time said he was worried that if he raised the U.S. corporate tax rate, U.S. corporations may move overseas to find a lower corporate tax rate in another country. So he had an idea. He reached out to the G7 countries and said, let's raise the minimum corporate tax rate so companies won't keep on moving around the globe trying to find lower rates. And it worked. The countries tentatively agreed. To which the president then said to his legal staff and legislative staff, you know what? This fall, this winter, like around Christmas, let's go back to those G7 countries and have them sign on the dotted line. And if they do, then we'll come back and then we will remove the provisions from forced stimulus that impact that corporate rate. Wow, now that's wonderful news. But it got surprisingly, incredibly better. 
The president about a week ago tipped us off and I tipped you off that it was coming and then it came. Last Saturday, the president went overseas for his first international trip. First stop to have those G7 countries sign the law now. Sign the bill now that anchors for similar to the finish line by no longer having these provisions about corporate taxes internationally have to be covered in U.S. law. They're now in that international agreement, making it easier for the Democrats in the caucus to pass a four stimulus because it's now in the international agreement. Oh my goodness, now that is wonderful news. And on top of that, he's calling the vote next week for the Democrats in the reconciliation process. Yes, wow, can we doubt that? We can. In the third stimulus, in the third part of this four stimulus check update of 2021, coming up right after this commercial break. Plus, the exciting news about fifth stimulus, a fifth stimulus check, and the raising up of your benefits. It's coming up after the commercial break. But something even more wonderful before that, the volunteers. They embody the true purple power spirit. And if you've had problems finding that rent, that utilities, that snap, that internet, reach out to them. How do you find them? Open the description to this video. Go down the description. In the description, you'll find the community page. It's next to an emoji of a house. Click that link and it'll send you to the community page. News.la.com forward slash community is the community page website. On it is a picture of some kitty cats. They're not the volunteers. They're just kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page of the volunteers. They separate from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them and they'll help you get that money. And I'll be back after the commercial break with big exciting news about the other money for you as four stimulus's third part heats up in this video and fifth stimulus heats up with another stimulus check. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right, right now on a big afternoon's L.A. broadcast. Live from Santa Monica, tape this afternoon. I'm excited for you to join me on a big afternoon's L.A. How you doing? How's the weather where you are? Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In the second half of this Force Simulus Check extended broadcast on afternoon's L.A., we'll be going over the big exciting news coming next week. I'll be going over the entire process you should anticipate for next week so you know what to expect. We'll be turning to fist stimulus with another stimulus check and a raising up of your benefits and breaking news about that as well. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers is a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Let's get to 1 million. Subscribe. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. More about membership in just a second. Let's get right to fifth stimulus with the surprising breaking news this morning. The Fed head out of St. Louis this morning surprised Wall Street, may have spooked it a little bit, caused Wall Street to go down 500 points this morning when he said that the Federal Reserve now believes that inflation is a little bit higher than we anticipated. OMG, <laughs> that's not what Jerry, that's not what uh, Jerry Powell said uh, just a few days earlier. 
uh, Jay Powell, when he spoke before uh, the, the congressional uh, leaders on Wednesday, said, you know what, we're fine. We, we do expect uh, um, two interest rate hikes in 2023, but we still need to provide stimulus to this economy. Well, the head of the St. Louis Fed came out and said, uh, inflation's a little bit higher than thought. Well, that's sort of obvious, but this is great news for you for fist stimulus because fist stimulus is tied to the inflation rate. Here's what you need to know is that many analysts now believe that the inflation rate currently is 4% and will be going up and going up and going up until it gets to a peak, a, a temporary spike transitory period in which they call it, potentially of 10% and then coming back down. The question is, when is that 10%? That's coming up in one second. But here's what you need to know first. Fifth stimulus, will there be another stimulus check? There will. Those seven House Democrats represent that they're going to be putting a fifth stimulus check into the fifth stimulus package. Now, when is that? Fifth stimulus checks would likely be 2022 because fifth stimulus voting would be around November-ish while the whole legislative effort starts in September. So they wouldn't be able to get it to you in December, likely January. Perfect timing. 2021, fourth stimulus. 2022, fifth stimulus. Also breaking news, the president has dedicated $1 billion in his budget bill, not this bill, but a different bill for the Social Security Administration to ensure you get checks going forward on time. We had saw the debacle that happened with third stimulus as people on benefits were not getting their third stimulus check the same as people not on benefits. We saw problems with Direct Express by Comerica Card and similar. He went to eliminate that. And this is wonderful news in advance of fourth stimulus, fifth stimulus, and fifth stimulus checks. Third, we heard from uh, we heard from Jay Powell on Wednesday that said that the two interest rate spikes from the Fed will not come until 2023, that this economy continues to need support, and that he's holding his pace where he is right now. But then the Fed head out of St. Louis said his comments today. Well, let's go over why the comments of the two Fed heads together are both good for you, because we're concerned about how this impacts that January lift of your benefits. Let's go over the analysis. First, SSI and SSDI reform will involve raising your benefits up one big time, then in applying an applying a inflationary benchmark that would raise your benefits up each year, but the first lift would be December for next January. They're going to remove the asset limits, and they're going to remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's do the analysis so you understand how this number works out. First, they're going to raise your benefits up one big time under fist stimulus. Who's you? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, veterans benefits, then they apply a benchmark every December to see whether your benefits next year should step up. Okay, that's pretty easy as well. What's the new benchmark? The new benchmark is inflation. Now, we all know inflation is going up, but the question is how high is it going to go up? Here's what you need to know. Inflation is currently 4%, as I told you. It's potentially going to hit to 10%. You want to hope that when it hits that transitory, that temporary spike of 10% before it comes down, that it hits that spike right around December, November, when they apply your benchmark. Because look what what happened. They would raise your benefits up that amount. Let's say it's 10%. Not just next year, but lifetime. This is huge because once they raise your benefits up, they raise them up a lifetime. They never step down. That is why it's very important to hope that inflationary spike happens right about when they apply that benchmark the first time in November, December. Then also, they're going to remove the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. It's going to go away just not to get time to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They're going to remove the income cap, dating back to 1960s law that says you can work and stay on benefits, it's going to go away. Finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, penalizing people from being married or preventing them from being married for fear of loss of benefits. Love is going to win and the marriage penalty is going to go away. Viewers like Sandy and Rob will be able to get married and no longer fear the marriage penalty. So there you go. There is fifth stimulus. Stimulus check, a raising up of your benefits. But there's a lot of other things in fifth stimulus besides that. There's money for hazard pay. There is money for single seniors. In third stimulus, there's a lot of other money, thousands of dollars of other money. It's important to know what's in third stimulus because a lot of it is application-based. 
So consider becoming a member. If you're watching the live chat and you see people in the live chat with an emoji of a purple hawk next to their name, they are members. Daily, they're delivered from me, a breakdown of everything that's in the third stimulus so they can get the thousands of potential dollars that are available for them as application base in the third stimulus. For stimulus, they know about all the money that will be available for them when passed and fifth stimulus as well. So consider becoming a member so you get sent to you daily from the YouTube community page written by me everything that's in third stimulus that you can be going and getting thousands of dollars and fourth and fifth stimulus as well. All right, let's go back to the third and final update of our fourth stimulus check of 2021 starting right now. No less than four things I want to go over. First, personal message. Second, I want to go over the voting process. Number three, uh, fake narratives. And finally, number four, Purple power push. All right. Number one, let's go over some a personal message. You're doing, doing great. Um, I think it was Christine, who I interacted with, and Tina, who I interacted with, were just killing it on social media, just doing a wonderful job. And we reminisced about how no less than a week ago, I went on air on a Saturday morning, and I said, 12 tweets in 12 hours from millions of viewers? That ain't going to cut it. Now I'm seeing dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of tweets per hour. So you are absolutely really ramping it up. You have heard loud and clear. So keep it going. Number two, your, your mindset has been beautiful. Remember, we are not here with a psychic stimulus network. This is not a prophecy. We don't go around saying, I predict, I anticipate, I think, I wonder, I think, I believe, I hope. I No. Because these are legislators. They are currently marking up the bill. Marking up the bill means they have a piece of paper, a draft of the bill, and they got their pen in their hand and they're making changes. One side of the pen is a ink, the other side of the pen is an eraser. So you can't be sitting around speculating because the eraser could be going to that paper anytime and erasing things out that you thought were in there. And you can't be pessimistic at the same time because at any time there may be something not in there and they could be writing it in. They're legislators, and the process is not done yet, so understand that. Let's go over the nine steps that start next week so you all understand the nine steps of the voting process. Every step can be done in more, more than one step can be done per week, with the exception of the Votorama. That requires the, a certain number of hours under the Constitution. But let's go over the nine steps. Steps five, seven, and eight are the most important. Step one, the House calls the House subcommittee calls a vote on the on the procedural bill. Step two, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate votes on the procedural bill. Step four, the President signs the procedural bill into law. At that point, the tow truck is passed over the finish line. Time to go back and get the tow hitch, the substantive bill. Here we go. Step five, the House subcommittee that's currently marking up the bill that could put those monthly stimulus checks in there calls it for a vote, the substantive bill. Step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, here we go. The two-day votorama in the Senate. At that point, the senators receive whatever was passed in the House. Three possibilities. Number one. The House had no stimulus checks in there. The Senators amend and add them in there. Step two, possibility number two. The House bill has stimulus checks in there. The Senators are fine with it. They leave it alone. Or possibility number three, the House has stimulus checks in there and the Senators amend it. Two-day votorama, then off we go to the present signs into law. Step nine, done by July 4th. There you go. Next, fake narratives. Fake narratives. I want you to know, going now, all the way through the weekend, all the way to the final day of voting, I want you to only listen to really three people. Chuck Schumer, the President of the United States, and Shala Paul. Well, and also me. <laughs> Four people. Because I really do think, and I certainly have seen it grow and grow and grow, that you're going to see a lot of very bad fake narratives. Um, the fake narratives are coming from a lot of different sides. Here's something you're going to hear for the first time on Afternoons LA. There's a series of reports out today that talk about some Democrats that really want to sort of back up the U-Haul truck and dump into this forced stimulus. A lot of stuff that no one has ever heard about. Stuff that we just sort of knew at the 11th hour. I want, um, I want some stuff for carrots in this bill. I was like, what? Where, where's this coming from? So a lot of people, even Democrats, are sort of backing up the tow backing up the U-Haul truck and sort of dumping stuff in here. 
So I don't want you to hear something and say, I heard from this one Democrat that unless he gets his provision about carrots and turnips, he's not going to sign. They, they're doing this. They're starting to do this where people have their sort of pet projects and then they say, I want my thing in there. Or I'm not going to sign. That's just then that, that is just grandstanding. Not to say that they've started to do that, but I have heard them starting to throw things out that they want included. And it's like, what are you talking about? No one's talked about these things for just months and months. Nothing bad. It's just sort of weird stuff that doesn't belong here. <laughs> it's just okay. Uh, leave it for the leave it for the winner. Um, that's the first thing. Moderate Democrats, um, and 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 exiting GOP members and print media that is really slanted one way, they're all going to be doing these strange fake narratives. So I want you to sort of ignore them for now. I want you to focus on what the president says, what Chuck says, and what Jalapal says. Finally, Purple Power. Oh boy, you've been doing great. So viewers have been asking me who to tag. Tag um, Jalapal's teams. So the there is a special Twitter account for the the House Progressive Caucus, its chair, its vice chair, its staffers. Um, it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's representative House members. Tag all Democrats in the House. Tag Democrats in the Senate. Tag progressive members. Remember, the progressive members are the ones really going to the mat for these monthly stimulus checks. Tag members who are Democrats on the House Ways and Means Committee. Hashtag MSC. Hashtag Purple Power. If you've tagged some people before, change the people you're tagging uh, and tag some different people. Uh, switch it up so you see the more you people you can tag, the better it is. But don't leave someone don't leave someone untagged for you know a week or something. Just sort of tag it, change it up. Um, also, what's a great message a lot of viewers have been saying, it's very easy to retweet. It's very easy to retweet another viewer's tweet. So if you see my tweets, it's very easy to retweet it, but I'm not tagging necessarily a lot of people. But if you see someone else tagging someone, you can just retweet it. Um, you can do that plus your own tweets. Finally, uh, go on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and share these videos, hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. But if you don't know the internet at all, at all, it just makes you feel very confused, old-fashioned way, telephone. Telephone. Uh, a lot of viewers have been doing that. One viewer out in New York, longtime viewer, um, he called up Chuck Schumer's office and left a very long voicemail. Wonderful. Be professional. Be respectful. Talk to staffers. Talk to staffers and express why you need it. Finally, here's a reason why you need a stimulus check. The new jobless claims numbers were released Thursday morning, yesterday. And guess what? It was bad. It was a bad number. It was not a good number. We did not improve. We went the other direction, a surge of new jobless claims, which means people newly on unemployment that had never been on unemployment in the last two years. So people need stimulus. Express why you need it and make your message very unique to yourself. And with that, I'm excited for you to have joined me, but I'm more excited for you to join me next on Evenings LA. So stay with this video. This video, when it's done in six seconds, will automatically take you to Evenings LA, which starts in about 77 minutes from now, about an hour and a half from now. And then after that is Overnight's Crypto. But stay with this video, and I'll take you there automatically. And also subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes. Every like help helps, and it helps uh, improve the weather. And also consider becoming a member to have delivered to you daily what's in third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon. I'll see you next on Evenings LOA.